I am probably the only person on YouTube that owns this much sunscreens and I'm probably one of the few people that have this much sunscreens other than celebrities and K-pop idols and people who can just buy whatever they want but guess who's back with another sunscreen update I have been using all these sunscreens for probably the last 10-11 months I think I bought these sunscreens mainly from YesStyle or Stylevana depending on where you live and what's the best option. When it comes to sunscreens, we have two different types of consistencies in general. As you can see, this one is see-through, kind of waxy, that's how I call it, and this one is not see-through. Here I have another see-through, waxy, here you can see it clearly when I move like this. And here's the thing. These type of consistencies, so the see-through ones, this I would not recommend for people with oily skin. If you have normal skin or dry skin, this is really great because this sort of, this is like my favorite sunscreen, this leaves like a sort of protective layer on my skin and I absolutely love this sunscreen. And then we have these types of consistencies which I call the silky cream ones and these consistencies are good for people with normal skin, dry skin, but oily skin as well. Acne prone skin, that's hard for me to say. It's best to just look at a sunscreen and the ingredients and make sure that there are no ingredients that can possibly irritate your skin. But again, it's very hard to say. Then again, you can never go wrong with this one. Um, this is a waxy based consistency. It's definitely my favorite. If you have acne prone skin, the Vanilla Co sunscreens would be a good fit for you. This is one of the sunscreens from Swanee Coco that I personally really like, but this one has lavender flower extract and depending on how sensitive you are to those products I wouldn't recommend it but it really depends on your skin if you have acne prone skin the next thing when it comes to sunscreen sticks it's so simple but I just wanted to say it anyways and this is a very good example and I did this on purpose for you guys to see but it is the dirt inside make sure to clean your sunscreen stick on the inside because you know dirt is going to get trapped there and as you're reapplying the sunscreen stick you don't want to sort of reapply dirty face over dirty face this is another example from VT Super Hyaluron sunscreen stick that's a whole name but this sunscreen stick and it is really sunny but I hope you can see the difference in color but the thing is that the side is sort of lighter there are even some makeup foundation left over so make sure to also clean your sunscreen like probably i say every week depending on how much makeup you're using if you're using makeup i would say probably every two to, two to three days i personally love sunscreen sticks but you have to keep them clean um, otherwise it can do more harm than good and then another thing when it comes to sunscreens that i really wanted to let you guys know in advance because this can happen to quite a lot of people actually this was my first sunscreen stick from Vanilla Co. And I love this sunscreen stick. I was like doing too much with this stick. I just had it with me all the time. So this is what happened. I hope you can see it, but ta-da. In the beginning, I was using it like this, but if you use a sunscreen stick like this, you can apply too much pressure so that your sunscreen stick can break. I wanted to give you guys a quick recap of all the sunscreen sticks that I have and I'm going to try to keep this as short and compact as possible but you know I have 20 sunscreen sticks here so it's just going to be hard. From all the sunscreen sticks that I have, the waxy consistency sunscreens that I would recommend for people with dry skin, Farmstay, Eliza Vecca, which is this one. I have the Eco Earth sunscreen stick and I have the Abib, my absolute favorite because of the shape of the Abib sunscreen stick. I love this stick so much because this shape, it's just perfect for your face the other shapes are okay but this shape like this is perfect this shape this one is also really easy to apply especially for your under eye area and we also have this shape 
which is sort of like it's okay you know it's okay it's okay it's it's not the best i would say because it's like this and you know you you cannot sort of go evenly over your face you have to do it a few times extra and this is just easy just easy basic shape this one and this one very good okay keep that in mind if you're thinking about which sunscreen to get and you don't know which sunscreen you should get if you have a shape like this or the other one just go for that one we also have the round sunscreen it's like okay to apply but it's not the most easy because our face has you know it's not like flat we have depth in our face okay so when it comes to sunscreen sticks there are not that much waxy consistency sunscreen sticks but waxy consistency sunscreen sticks are the sticks that i like especially in winter for people with dry skin or normal skin all these sunscreen sticks are sunscreen sticks that are in a creamy silky consistency in general i personally because I have tested out all these products, I like them all. I can be a little picky, but like, like I don't like this scent. Um, I love this scent, but it's actually the same sunscreen. It's like same, probably the same fabric made it, you know, and it's just also consistency wise, everything, it feels the same on your face. So yeah, but I like these sunscreen sticks. Then we have this Banana Co. These silky cream consistency sunscreen sticks are good for people with oily skin, but also good for people with normal, sensitive, acne prone, or dry skin. Acne prone, again, check the ingredients. Then I have the Acewell sunscreen stick. Again, it's in the same family. They all look the same, they just have different designs, but consistency wise, I really like this type of consistency. And then we have Nature Republic. This is also one of my favorites, by the way. And again, it is because of the shape, and here you can see the difference. This sunscreen stick from Cure, their water cooling sunscreen stick. This one is almost finished. I did enjoy using this because especially last summer, it was pretty hot here in the Netherlands. And when I just use this, it does give a cooling effect. So that I have to give it. And then we have this Hyaluron sunscreen stick. I haven't used this that much like maybe two or three weeks and then I haven't used it because of the shape. I just love this sunscreen stick. First of all, because of the scent, it's just the best. Then we have the Laneige sunscreen stick. Again, a really good shape to use on your face. For some reason, I haven't used this one that much. I just wanted to sort of cherish this sunscreen stick. And the same goes for this brand. This is also more on the high end. Really a nice sunscreen stick creamy silky based as you can see this is the cynic sunscreen stick i like the product but i just don't like the shape of it this is number 16 from ahc and the ahc again is just a really simple basic sunscreen stick to be honest i haven't used this one that much yet maybe like only for one or one and a half weeks when i was trying it out but for some reason i did enjoy this product and i sort of wanted to cherish it with the laneige one then we have the hun Oh my god, what's wrong with me? I have the Hanyul White Chrysanthemum sunscreen stick. If I say it right, this does smell like flowers, like a lot. But it also has perfume in it and yeah, I don't know. But I do think this is a good brand and they make good sunscreen sticks. And then we have the Riray. Rira, I don't know how you say it. Rira sounds so freaking Dutch, but yeah. Sunscreen stick. This is silky and light sunscreen stick. In general, a great sunscreen stick. This one is also, I think, one of the cheapest sunscreen sticks that I got. Faith in face silky pore sunscreen stick. This again has a shape that goes like this. I don't use it on my face. Because it is so tiny, I use this on my hands, especially when I am driving to protect my hands from the sun. So yeah, that's something that I can do because I have so much sunscreen sticks. Just a quick recap, make sure you keep your sunscreen sticks clean. Look at the type of sunscreen stick, consistency, waxy or creamy, silky. And other than that, don't 
open up your sunscreen stick too much you don't want to break it like i did with this sunscreen stick i think that was it for today's video if you guys have any more questions or whatever let me know in the comments down below i hope this video helped you guys a little bit in the journey of all the thousands of sunscreen sticks that are out there and i hope you can make a better choice now because you have some more information my battery died but yeah in general that was it for today's video links of all the products are in the description down below if you use one of my links or use one of my codes i will get a little commission if you would like to use that i would be very thankful and that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you have a great day bye